there are no danger zones when you invest in stocks if you observe two things that we tell again and again. Invest only in large companies and then diversify across many different stocks. Why is that safe? At the same time, when you buy stocks, many professional investors buy the very same stocks. And then many executives and board members make sure these large companies are run very well. Also, banks recommend to buy index funds, which do nothing else but buy all the stocks in one market. If that's safe, your own diversified stock portfolio is just as safe. However, if you use Obermott ranks, you may want to dive deeper and learn more about them. You want to know where these ranks are strong and where they are a little bit weaker. This is what we are doing today. This video is for advanced users. We go through a couple of examples that illustrate where Obermott ranks have their limits and how you should use them. Let's start with the value ranks. One area where value ranks may not be that reliable are technology companies. Technology companies typically invest in the future. For instance, if you have a biotech company, they may develop a drug that is only available in the future. Or a high-tech company that develops software or hardware to sell in future markets. In these situations, you don't have revenues today and profits today that you can relate to the market price of that company. In addition, they not, may not even pay dividends. So how can you judge how valuable they are? You have to go someplace else that makes predictions about the future. And as you can imagine, predictions about the future are not very reliable. For that reason, I stay typically clear of such companies. In those few cases, where I really want to be part of a technology company's, big company because I like it so much, I make sure it's only a small part of my portfolio so that the risk stays manageable. Let's now look at growth ranks. When are Obermott growth, growth ranks less reliable? This is the case when a company goes through a big issue. For instance, Volkswagen had their exhaust scandal or Boeing had the autopilot failure. In these situations, there's a lot of bad news and growth drops. First of all, the stock price, but probably also revenues and profits may take a dive. That means growth ranks are bad. But often, these companies go only through a temporary phase of problems and may recover in the future. That means your growth rank is not a really good long-term indicator. By the way, in these situations, the value rank is still very reliable, and you may actually come across quite valuable companies that have such an issue. There is another problem with growth ranks when companies decide to only report their data once a year, because then that data may be quite old. If a company only reports once a year, and it takes two to three months to publish the data, it could mean that the data that we use to calculate the open mouth growth ranks is up to 15 months old. For you, that's very easy to identify. You just go to the open mouth web page where the stock is listed, and we show what reporting date we have used to calculate the open mouth growth rank. And remember, growth ranks are only supportive data when analyzing stocks. They are not that important. How can you make sure Obermott uses correct financial data? Obermott pays for solid financial data to world-leading commercial data providers. And we have developed our methods of analyzing that data since 2012. Whenever we find an error in our method, we correct them. But above all, we listen to our customers. Whenever customers come back to us with questions about the ranks, we investigate them. And we report back to our customers. If you find errors, we correct them. So, if you find an Obermott rank strange or hard to believe, don't hesitate to contact us. We will investigate the issue. 
the first check you can actually do yourself. You can go to Reuters.com. I recommend Reuters because Reuters puts the data of the company, the financial data of the company, next to the industry average of the same data. That means you can verify the direction of the Obermott rank. If you have an Obermott rank above 50, that means the financial data of that company should be better than the industry average. Sometimes we even find errors on Reuters. Even though errors happen sometimes, you don't have to worry about them that much. You don't have to worry for one simple reason. When you buy a stock, you pay a market price. Market prices are what they are. You don't pay more if you use wrong data to buy that stock. You pay the same price as everybody else. This means you're not getting hurt. Other investors do the same thing at the same time. Learn how to use the Obermott ranks to support your own successful stock investments.